Hello and welcome back. Today I want to show you how these two cards were made and I want to explain about this product which is called Brusho. Brusho is a dry powdered paint that activates when you get it wet. The card on the right is one that I made. The card on the right was made by a friend of mine. This was made by Norma Artman. I'm going to show you how I made my card and explain how Norma made hers. The Brusho product, as I said, is a dry powder. It comes, uh, there's a lot in here, so you don't need very much. I use a little push pin in the top and then um, sprinkle it out like it was a salt shaker. They come in a set with lots of different colors, and if you just put different push pins in, it lets you know what colors you have in each container. So on Norma's card, she made hers on watercolor paper, and uh, I'm not sure how she got it wet, whether she used a brush or whether she used a spritzer to get her paper wet. Um, you can actually start in either order. You can sprinkle the dry powder on and then spritz, or you can have wet paper to start with and then sprinkle the dry powder on, and you'll get a little bit different look with either way. It's just one of those things that's like totally fun to play with. And I love, I love the natural look of this because you're not dipping into um, a pot of liquid paint and you'd be getting much more even color that way. You get such a natural look, a watery look um, when you use this powder. And you can see here these little dots. These are where a single fleck of the paint le uh, landed and it got a little bit wet but it wasn't blended in any way. Um, in this area she had lots and lots of the flecks and so you get an intense color. Out here in this area, she may have sprinkled a few flecks, or she may have just um, gotten the color from here and used a brush and kind of pulled it out. But look at that card. Isn't that just beautiful? All right, so let me set Norma's card aside, and I will show you mine again. So here's my card, and once again, um, as I tip it, you're going to notice a little bit more on my card. You're going to see some shiny in there, not just the glimmer paper that was used for the snowflakes, but you're going to see some shiny on this background also. So let me explain. Um, there are several things that added to that, uh, and the first of them is the fact that I started with shimmer paper. So shimmer paper actually has little flecks of shimmer um, built into the, the paper structure itself. So I hope you're seeing it there on the, the, the video. I started mine by squirting it. This is the um, Stampin' Up! Stampin' Spritzer. Make sure that my hole is pointing away from me. Notice this, so the flex fell out when I took the push pin out. I'm just going to add a bunch. Oh, isn't that cool? Just look at that. Isn't that neat? And then you can control it by um, spritzing lots of water on and tipping it. You can use a brush. I wanted even coverage on mine, so I used a brush, and I'll show you what it looks like. So like I said, I wanted even coverage on this. I wanted my whole project and not my finished card. I wanted my whole project to be blue. By the way, I'm using a Teflon sheet as a background here so that um, I don't get water and mess all over my work surface. So now that my project is dry, if I turn it a little bit in the light, I'm hoping that you're seeing all the little reflective parts that are built structurally into the paper and how this paper is just glistening already like a little, like a snowy night. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. All right, um, for my project, and I'll show you the project once again real quickly. For my project, I cut it into strips to put on the side of the paper. And uh, now if you look closely at it, you're going to see some a, a second thing that I added to this card to help add some shimmer to it. And what I used this uh, as the addition was some shimmer paint. It has a little ball inside it. You do need to shake it before you use it. To apply it, I'm going to use a toothbrush, grab a little bit of the paint here, and then just flick it on. Now, I wanted it to look like snow coming down, so I flicked it um, intentionally along a, a single line. And if I don't get enough of a look of falling snow to it, I can always take my wet paintbrush and come back and just kind of drag it. And when it dries, you're going to end up with this look here. And again, depending upon how much paint you put on, the more paint you have, um, the more the streaks will show up. 
So one final product that I'm going to use on this, um, as I was making the, the video, I thought, oh, that would be a nice thing to add to this. I love these adhesive rhinestones. They add another layer of, another dimension of sparkle to a project. So easy to pick up. You just pick them up on the point of a, um, a pokey tool and apply them to your project. There. Finished project, lots of sparkle and shine. Once again, the products that I used to help give it the sparkle and the, the shine and the differential coloring were the brushel paint, the shimmer paint, and the adhesive rhinestones. Would love to hear your comments on the card, and feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you.